The Grateful Dead, the counterculture psychedelic jam band. For 30 years they ruled rock music and essential to their music were their keyboardists. Four separate men held down the position and all met an untimely death by what could be considered the curse of the keyboardists. In 1965, Ron Pigpen McKernan joined the band and was the backbone for their musical explorations. Raised on the blues, Pigpen added a musical twist that helped distinguish the band Mixing in blues standards along with their psychedelic jamming, Pigpen led the band on vocals for many fan favorites in the 60s and 70s. A lovable but troubled musician, drinking tormented Pigpen and health problems soon arose beginning in the early 1970s. His drinking caused him to leave the band in 1971 and caused his final departure in 1972. In 1973, at age 27, he passed away from complications caused by his drinking. During Pigpen's health problems in 1971, the Dead hired jazz keyboardist Keith Godshow to fill his absence and also to help with the changing sound that Dead were exploring. With Pigpen's return in December 1971, the band supported two keyboardists for many months until Pigpen's departure from the band. From 1971 to 1979, Keith, joined by his wife Donna on vocals, were key players during the band's most creative and successful periods on record and on stage. During these years, fans regarded the concerts as some of the best in history. However, drug and alcohol problems caused the God Shows to leave the band in early 1979. Sadly, a year later in 1980, Keith God Show died from injuries sustained in a car accident. Replacing Keith would be the longest tenured keyboardist for the dead, Brent Midland. For 11 years during the dead's 80s prime, he brought a different element to the band that had previously not been seen. He was crucial to creating a new sound the band previously had not had and was instrumental in creating their first number one hit in 1987. He was lovable and was regarded the best keyboardist in the band, but he suffered from depression and self-doubt and turned to drugs to cope. In 1990, while on tour, he suffered a heroin overdose. Replacing Brent was Vince Walneck, who remained the keyboardist until Jerry Garcia's death in 1995 when the band disbanded. In the 90s, the Dead were a touring machine, playing stadiums all over the world, and Vince provided a key part of the music during the band's final days. Tragically though, in 2006, Vince committed suicide after years of neglect from the surviving members of the band and fans. All four keyboardists have left their mark on the band's music and their legacy still lives on today. The surviving members of the Grateful Dead continued to tour and play their music all over the country in stadiums continuously filled by one of the most devoted fan bases in music history.